All right, folks, so we're going to install the ID cooling CPU cooler on this Aris Z370 Gaming 3 motherboard. It says an i9-9900KF in it. And uh, first thing I'm going to do is grab the uh, mounting plate. Here's the mounting plate, and it can go on only one way usually. This one looks uh, like it's actually designed symmetrically. So there's two ways to put it on here. Usually, you know, they'll have this set up where there's only cutouts in a certain direction. And when I flip this over, you'll see what I'm talking about. So those little rivets there are uh, the design they usually have. But this one is set up to uh, basically counter that. So. You can see the little cutout there. That's going to uh, basically allow you to put it on this way or 180 degrees to it. So this isn't the easiest thing to do with one hand, folks, but boom, it's in. Now I've just got to make sure I don't drop this when I put it back on the ground. Okay. So there you go. We have our uh, studs basically pointing up and now we're going to uh, probably grab some spacers next. So here's the directions we'll be uh, using. As you can see we put the mounting plate in. Now we've got our uh, rubber spacers so we'll put those in and then on we'll have some nuts uh, that go above that. So here's our bag of goodies. We'll take these out of here and get them ready. So usually when I'm home, I'm actually in a hotel right now, I have a nice bowl or something to put these in so I don't lose stuff, but we will, uh, looks like these go on, and yeah, they're symmetrical. All right, so these spacers, I put them in, and then I noticed I wasn't actually recording. So they're not the easiest to get uh, off. <laughs> But all you're going to do basically is, is put it on top there and you actually have to put a little force behind it to get it to sit down, but you'll do that four times. So next we have to, if I can get this to focus, got to love it. We've got to pick the right bracket and then four of the nuts. So here's our brackets and it would appear that we are going with the, uh, the straighter ones and not the angled ones as you can see I don't know what is going on with the camera folks but there you go so before we put those on one thing you have to know is which way your fans gonna be oriented right so it'll look like this and so that means that we have to have these sitting over on this side now the way this is designed, these are pretty much, uh, yeah, you could go either way, right? So we want to go this way though. So we'll put that in there. And that sits on there a little loose. So this bracket is probably designed for, looks like since there's multiple holes in it, for uh, one of the other types of uh, CPU. So we've got that in. Now we're going to put our nuts in. And we will simply uh, put these on by hand at first. And then I will grab a Phillips head. And this actually looks, this is definitely easier than the, uh, the Cooler Master Hyper 212. Apologies for having that cable in the way. I actually, uh, you know, I'm traveling and I brought this setup with me. And I lost one of the nuts that goes with the, uh, one of my other CPU coolers. So I decided to buy another one for the channel. What the hell? You guys are worth it. All right, so then we're going to tighten this. 
And this would be a good spot not to, you know, be holding the camera and be able to hold on to the motherboard in case I this thing spins off into the uh, trash can next to me or into the ground. All right, so that that's there, folks. Next step. So we've got that done. Pretty simple. Now we've got to put our thermal paste on. And uh, I'm going to use Noctua because I've got a tube open that I actually busted up the top of it. So I've got to use it up and not the uh, stuff that comes with it. But you would obviously use the, uh, the ID cooling one or buy some better stuff. And then we will uh, we'll put the heat sink in and then attach the fan. All right, so I believe for uh, Intel, you do about three or four millimeter in diameter. And if this was an AM4, you would do, uh, I believe it's four to five. There's, you know, a couple of different ways you could do this, but there we go. So that'll spread out nicely. Now one day I'm actually gonna sit down and weigh this stuff out and try and figure out the exact perfect amount to put on there. Now, we need to remove this. Remove sticker before flight. And toss that in the old trash can. So, now, this is just going to sit on top of here. And we have to line these things up. So, um, basically, that fastener with the post and the same here so i'm not going to be able to do that with the cell phone so you will have to figure that part out on your own folks all right so once you've got these lined up and you get a couple threads on it you're just going to basically alternate from one side to the other until this is uh totally tight Now, to be honest with you, assuming this thing works good, I may, I may honestly buy more of these in the future. Um, it looks like a pretty good quality product. And I, I will say, I did not get this for free. I'm not endorsed by these guys. Uh, I did pay for this out of my own pocket. And I believe I got it for $25.50 or $24.50. Amazon had 15% uh, off. And it was like 30 bucks. So, yeah, that would be uh, 25 50 So, for that price, and to be honest with you, this looks better quality than the, the Hyper 212. I just got picked up a Hyper 212 LED, uh, which eventually will be on the channel. And, uh, you know, I'm not super excited about that one compared to this. All right, so now we've got to attach our fan. So, a couple things to note with the fan. Obviously, we said this is the intake side. That's the exhaust side. So you want to have the intake side out here. It's going to suck in the cooler air and blow it across the CPU cooler. And then it would blow out through here. And if this was in a case, you would actually have a, another uh, CPU fan there. Or excuse me, a case fan there. So now we know how it's oriented. We also are concerned about our cable where it's at and this thing is super long folks I don't know why in the hell they would give you such a long one um, potentially we could wrap this around the body which I may just do because it will it's got so much slack to it I could actually make it over to that spot so I'm going to do that instead of uh, tying it around so I don't normally do this and I don't normally have that ability but we've wrapped it around the body and it's going to sit over here and I think, honestly, I'm going to go ahead and connect it now so that I know how I want it on here. And then we'll put the little brackets on. All right, so I have attached the uh, four pin to the uh, where it has the CPU fan on there. And now it's time for the brackets. All right, folks, so I went ahead and put one of these in so you can see it. We'll actually do this in a moment. But uh, so it's going to go in. You're going to put the bracket in on the... Uh, the holes that are on the exhaust side okay and then it's going to end up looking like so all right so let's flip this around this is going to be difficult to do with one hand i have a feeling 
So basically we're trying to get these clips in the hole, which is, like I said, a lot easier with two hands. So push that one in, and then I'll come over here and get the second one in. And I may have to pause this. I mean, this is not that difficult to do, but with one hand it is. <laughs> All right, so they're in place. So now, I'm gonna line this up. And later on, I will go back and uh, do some work with the cable, but, all right. So I'm gonna have to, to put the phone down so we can actually get this on here in the right location. All right, there we go. So what's gonna happen is you're gonna pull this thing forward and up and around and then I'm going to go to the other side and do the same thing okay maybe I need to do a better job once again this is one of those uh, two hand deals okay so you see how it's sitting in there now so we pulled it down, up and in, and then on this side, same deal. So it's in there, folks. And uh, check out my videos in the future. Uh, I'll have some links down below if you want to see the temps. We'll do uh, regular gaming videos, and then I will run some uh, overclock stuff so you can see what the temperatures are. Hey, thanks, Trey.